Yeah. My name is Ion Douglas. I live at 140 Clegon Village, Princess Town. My son works in Petrotown with a contractor. Yesterday, which was Friday, I got a call from on my job stating that my son, so, um, something transpired with him. So I left work 10 o'clock yesterday morning. Reached to Petrotown Gate by admin. Final form city security. Well, my son Shaquille Douglas, something wrong with him. They say, yes, ambulance went in the inside. Hold on. I wait there for one hour. After an hour and a half, the ambulance came out. The security officers tried to assist me and stop the ambulance and find out that my son was in that van. They said, no. So I asked them because then, so where is my son? They said, well, the company ambulance have it under control. And which was GM. B or some GMR or some kind of thing like that. And them left and gone. I wait, I wait. Hour again. And next ambulance come out. Where's my son? My son is inside still. Okay, ambulance gone. Just 10 minutes after that, the company sent out a van for me to pick me up and my son who died inside there, child mother, to carry me inside the admin. Reaching the admin. What's going on with my son? Well, Mr. Douglas, we can you resuscitate him. And um, so by so, I said, what is going on with my son? No answer. 20 minutes after that, I need to leave here. Because I cannot function no more. I want to come out of here. I left, I walk out. Outside. Two security van follow me. They, 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 they tell me to come back, Mr. Douglas. When I reach back by the gate, next ambulance coming out again, which is the third. Where is my son? They don't have him. The fourth ambulance, which is the fire service. Where is my son? They just shake their head and they watch me. And they go on. Then now, so happened that I had a contact inside there. I will never call the contact name. They say, Doggy, your son dead inside a long time. Don't want to port. Alright. Go on back at me. They are me and my, my wife. Not my wife. My, my children, my brother, my sister-in-law, my son-in-law, all are we inside about 15 a week. Hear what these people are telling me now. Mr. Douglas, we tried everything with your son. Everything we tried with your son. Um, we used the infibulator. I want to explain to all the words that infibulator. The infibulator, you think we put the gel on to resuscitate you, to bring you back. They said they use that fire service. I didn't use that. Okay. I said, so where is my son? They said that they're still telling me my son there. Hmm. They're still telling me my son there yet. Yeah. All right. A day, a day. Like I'm 10 in the morning, eh? Half past three in the evening. I get to know my son there. Who bring out my son from inside there? You know what they tell me half past three? My son anymore, three in San, no, no. Which ambulance carried my son and the four ambulance I, I check? Who carried out my son? Who carried out my son? And all are begging to see my son face. Nobody has shown my son, nobody has told me nothing. My son. They don't need pain. They don't need pain. I'm going through. Then now, the Lord know. And I know they tell me to do it. They tell me to do it. Too. But then, God know. And I swear unto God, if I lie, I fall, yes, stone dead. They take my life one time. You know what they tell me? They hope I get in trouble. Like, 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 like the men and them who drown the divers. They hope me get in trouble like that. 
So I like what you mean by that. You see, Mr. Douglas, anything you want?